Hey, what's up everybody? So today we got another giant box from GearBest. In here we got another 3D printer. Now this is the TiVo Tornado. This has the same dimensions as the Creality CR10. It's 300 by 300 by 400 build volume. And yeah, it's got some really unique features though. It's not just a rip-off copy, it's a little different. Um, and it's got some very unique features that I haven't seen on any other 3D printers. The heated bed is actually AC powered. So it can get to 110 degrees, they say, in just a couple minutes. So we'll have to test that out. But yeah, it comes mostly assembled, so it should be pretty simple to put together. Um, this retails for $451, but GearBest is hooking it up. So with the link and the code in the description, you'll be able to get it for this price. And yeah, so if you're, at the end of the video, you're into this printer, check it out, hit that link, and yeah, get on it before they sell out. So really cool thing too is after this if you guys like this video i'll put this up against the cr10 and we'll you know kind of weigh the pros and cons of each other and yeah just looks really unique so let's you know adjust the camera a little bit unbox it do some prints you know give my overall first impression review and then yeah let's have some fun all right all right guys giant box so yeah open it up right here make sure this is the top say it doesn't say, so I'm just gonna assume that this is the top. God, this box is huge. Oh, and look, this is just the shipping box, because inside this box, we got a whole box just the camera a little. It's so big, it's hard to get this all in frame. I'll put it right there. Okay, so, yeah, so let's open this up. You know what? Get that box out of there. Sorry, my camera's doing something goofy. Yeah, there we go. Very nice box, though. Thank you for your purchase. Thank you. It looks like it's upside down. We're opening it. Yeah, this way, this looks right. So, this is my first TiVo printer. So, pretty excited. I've seen other people unbox some TiVo printers, not this particular one. But, yeah. All the TiVo printers I've seen, though, seem like they have really nice packaging. Okay, so, I'll turn this so you guys can kind of see me. Kind of open this together. I'll try not to tip anything over, so. Okay, we got a little, this is the build platform. You know, it feels like a plastic, like a PEI maybe type of thing. I don't know, it says 3M on it. Um, not a build tack though, it's like a, you know, it feels like more plasticky. I've never had that PEI surface stuff, so it might be that. Uh, I'll put on the screen what it is. Uh, after sales card, looks like warranty info and everything. Get a little more organized here. Okay. All right. Okay, so it looks like we got some styrofoam cut out. This is really nice. I want to here. Let's take this off. Okay, so first we got all our hardware and our parts. Like this is gonna be for the frame, the brackets. And then here we got the bed screws. Oh, let's adjust this camera a little bit. Okay. That's better. Okay, and we got the cords. The printer cord, I already have a million of these. Uh, power supply, and they sent me a US one, awesome. Uh, I like how it's a you know, a regular size SD card, not a micro SD. Very nice, sorry, there's a plane flying above me. I live outside Chicago, it's kind of a normal thing here. Uh, Allen wrenches. Pretty flexible, pretty flexible terminal tool, so pretty nice, pretty nice right there. And here, okay. Here we got the control box. Looks really. I love the black and green. It's just freaking awesome looking. Like, 
Looks just sick. Look at that. You, you. Looks awesome. Same knob that's like on the any cubic console. Okay, looks like this all pulls out now. Okay, this is the gantry. An extruder assembly, hot end and everything. Uh, I believe. Yeah. It is really integrated. This packaging is really nice, but at the same time, it's really hard to get this stuff out of here. Ugh. But I'd much rather have that than it rattling around everywhere during packaging, or, or during shipping, I mean. I could just cut the styrofoam, but I don't want to accidentally like scratch anything. Oh, here's what it is. It was a cord kind of hang it, get it hung up on. And that's what the deal was. Oh, okay. Most of that thing's right there. Okay, so I finally got it out. Okay, so also all metal. Looks super, super nice. Very good build quality. Yeah, that's actually the right way to hold it, but they got eccentric, eccentric nuts. Uh. So yeah, no wobble really. It looks like I tighten it up a little bit. I'll give that a little tighten before. That's what those eccentric nuts for. Titan extruder. Look at your standard TiVo Titan extruder. I've seen these. I've never had one. Feels feels nice. Okay, let's make a little room on the table here. Okay, and lastly we got the bed assembly. Okay, so yeah, this is mostly put together. Um, it is not a glass bed. It's a that PEI or whatever, so we get a chance to try that out. Oh, this is really cool. Hey, look at that. It's like, a, I don't know, just like how they test it to make, like, before they send it out. Well, that's awesome. It's 3D printed on there. So, super, super cool. Oh, bed feels real nice. Also, eccentric nuts on the bottom. Uh, I just love the colors of this. This looks really awesome. So it looks like that's everything in the box. Yeah. So yeah, that's everything in the box. So yeah, I guess let's time last me putting this thing together. And then yeah, I'll tell you what I think and uh, we'll play with it. All right guys, I'm gonna be putting it together using this manual here. There's also an SD card, which I'm sure has um, files in there, but it looks like this is a really nice manual. So. But it looks simple enough, like I'm basically just going to be putting that bracket on, I'm putting the screws in the bottom of the frame, just like both the Anycubic i3 Mega as well as the CR10, plugging in very similar to how the CR10 plugs in, basically just two things, and tightening the eccentric nuts, um, you know, very simple how to do that, uh, maybe tighten the belt if I need to, just basically, you know, standard stuff, check everything, and uh, level the bed. And then it's got all your slicing settings and everything in here. So right off the bat, I'm going to be using these. And yeah, just going off this. And yeah, I know there's a spool holder uh, on the G-Code, I think. So that'll probably be my first test print, but we'll see. So yeah, and then after all the after sales information and everything. So yeah, super cool. Okay, so this went together without a hitch. It is great build quality. The the PEI bed sheet or whatever this is, there was actually there's an extra one, you know. So they they printed on the one, so you know I had to get it off. It took way longer than expected to get it off with the tool, but I got it off. It actually took me longer to do that than to build the thing. Uh, I didn't even finish my beer, so yeah, that's that's really fast. That's really really fast. So yeah, so yeah, it came with and it also came with an extra. Uh, Titan extruder, so super cool. Lots of extra parts, extra nozzle. So yeah, so I guess let's just go plug it in 
and print some stuff. All right guys, so this thing has been printing PLA like perfect, like it, it looks awesome. So let's try this ABS. This is Hatchbox ABS, so you guys know I'm not lying. Yep, see, right there. So yeah, this is ABS. So um, the machines, the, the test print that came with the, with the printer was done in ABS. So I'm like positive the printer can do ABS. Uh, it heats up in literally like two minutes with the AC power, the the solid state relay, it, you know, it heats up so fast. So, yeah, so I have no doubt in my mind this will be able to print ABS, but just to prove it to you guys, I'm gonna print a little uh, Stormtrooper astronaut, and let's do it. All right, everybody, so final thoughts on the TiVo Tornado. This thing is amazing. There's nothing to say about it. It is amazing. This this printer feels like they really took the time in making this and designing it. Um, just the way it, everything is just really sleek, the way it looks. I loved the green anodized parts. Um, it did not come with a spool holder, but there was a spool holder, G-code, already sliced up and ready to go on the SD card. So I'd recommend your first print. Uh, print the spool holder is really nice. You can clip it on to the side here. Or here, depending on where you want to put the bo the control box, but yeah, really, really cool. And it's already sliced up, ready to go. This printer print can print really fast. Like I've had this printer for a week now, and filming this video, and yeah, it, it just it just took a while to make this video. So I've really had a chance to put it through all its paces. But you know, it can print little things like a little Squirtle or uh, you know my little Stormtrooper. Like this is printed in ABS. <laughs> oh, that freaking hurt! Sorry, stubbed my toe. Oh. But anyways, yeah, this Stormtrooper is printed in ABS Stormtrooper Astronaut, and 
yeah, it printed awesome. So no enclosure needed to print ABS. So I know with the CR10, it was quite hard for me to get the bed up to the temperature. This, it just, this just went like that. Uh, the bed literally heats up in like two minutes. And uh, that's because it's AC powered. It's got a uh, AC power relay. So yeah, it, it, it's running on its own power source and everything for that. And yeah, it just heats up like instantly basically. So super, super cool. The build platform here, I was kind of iffy about it at first, but I really like it. After printing with it for a while, you know, you don't need any build, uh, any build adhesive. You don't need any, you know, glue stick or hairspray, nothing. It, it prints really good on there. And, you know, I've really, you know, been digging this into it and it doesn't really scratch up. You know, it's, it's much more durable than like build tech. And yeah, it just feels really nice. And they included a second one. So if you damage this, you have a second one, but I can see it taking a long time before you actually damage this. Um, this vase, you know, shows, I, I mean, I could have went even higher printing this, but I didn't want to go too crazy. And uh, there was no Z-wobble, the single lead screw was just fine. So I don't see any need for a dual lead screw. If you want to pick this up, you can get it on GearBest. Uh, this just came out, they're doing a sale. And with the link on the description, you can get this for $3.59. So that's about $100 off. So crazy, crazy deal. This. Yeah, great value. The fact that it could print ABS is what I'm really blown away by uh, with no, you know, no enclosure, no modifications. And uh, basically, if you were in any, you could put this in your garage in the winter and it would still probably be able to print ABS, no problem. Uh, probably not the best idea, but yeah, uh, I can't. I think this thing is just awesome. The way the belt tensioner system works is extremely easy. Um, you just loosen these, pull it, tighten them back down. Uh, same with the Y. And yeah, it's, it's, it's just super awesome. So everything right out of the box printed great it could print really really fast uh, I've got it up to 80 millimeters a second and it was still printing good so I haven't done a full test on it but yeah uh, I was originally gonna do the CR10 versus the Anycubic i3 Mega but I think it'd be more interesting to do this this printer against the CR10 so in the future you're gonna see that and you're also gonna see me print all sorts of stuff on this uh, throughout my channel so make sure to subscribe if you're not and let's help get this channel to 100,000K. But until next time, I'll see you later.